If you are watching the skies, look out for Scudum, the shield constellation. Tonight, look for one of the most beautiful celestial sights visible at this time of year. Scudum, the fifth smallest constellation in the sky, introduced in 1684 by the Polish astronomer Johann Hevelius under the title Scotum Sobieskianum, Sobieski's Shield. He named it in honor of King John III Sobieski of Poland, who helped Hevelius rebuild the observatory after a disastrous fire in 1679. Look in a dark country sky, far away from the glare of city lights. You'll find a hazy pathway stretched across the sky. This band is the starlit trail of our own Milky Way galaxy. If you see it, you can also find the very small constellation called Scudum, the shield. There are only four to five stars outlining the constellation, but Scudum is noticeably in a dark sky because the Milky Way is so rich here. At late night, look southward from the Northern Hemisphere or overhead from the southern hemisphere toward the richest part of the Milky Way to see Scudum. Scudum is not a bright constellation with the brightest star Alpha Scudi at magnitude 3.85 but some stars are notable in the constellation. Beta Scudi is the second brightest at magnitude 4.22 followed by Delta Scudi at magnitude 4.72. Scudum is one of the two constellations named after real people. The other one is Coma Berenices, named for an Egyptian queen. The shield isn't big and it requires a dark sky to be seen. But to those who find it in the dark skies, it provides some very nice views with the unaided eye or binoculars. The very noticeable teapot of Sagittarius is below Scudum, and the very bright star Vega shines high above Scudum. I hope that you enjoy watching this small faint shield of stars climb high across the southern sky. Let's venture together into the universe. Thank you so much for watching.